Hi everyone, good lovely afternoon. It is me, Jasmine. How are you folks doing? So I'm heading out to go uh, meet up with some friends and I have about I have about a good 45 minutes to my destination. So I'm going to try and keep this, this video right here uh, definitely below 45 minutes. So I want to talk about I want to talk about the whole f uh, foodie beauty and also um, Amberlynn situation. And I did do a video similar to this on, on my old, old channel, which is no longer around. But this is definitely a subject that's worth um, countless videos, if, if, if I could put it that way. So, um, let's see, hold on, give me a second. Just make sure that this DJI mic is situated accordingly. So, now, I am subscribed to, um, I do watch Amberlynn and also Foodie Beauty. I do, I watch um, uh, Foodie Beauty Chantel uh, <clears throat> more than I do Amberlynn. Um, and I have, listen, okay, so in this commentary, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put on one hat and do commentary uh, uh, with that. And then I'm going to take it off and put on a different hat. I'm using metaphors, and so um, let me let me put on the the uh, hat that's on the side of Foodie Beauty. Um, you know, I am of the view. <clears throat> now, YouTube is a big world. YouTube is a very very big world. So many content creators. If you don't like watching Foodie Beauty, if you don't if you don't like watching Chantal, if you don't like her commentary, her day to day commentary, if you if you don't like her positions on certain social issues, her position positions on certain life issues, if you don't like some of the contents that she has put out in the past, how she has you know uh, expressed her thoughts. Uh, and, and and so forth. Uh, <clears throat> you know, there are countless other channels out there that you could, you know, go to and uh, watch videos from. There are, there's so, YouTube again is a huge world. So if you do not like Foodie Beauty, then why not try other channels? Why not try other channels? Um, you know, it, 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 even even though this is YouTube, even though this is YouTube, it, it's just an online thing, and some people can, you know, uh, uh, read it off as is insignificant. Some people will even go the extra mile and say, uh, uh, you know, to say that how they conduct themselves on YouTube is not necessarily necessarily how they conduct themselves in, in real life. But I, I disagree with that characterization. Um, yes, you can put on an act on YouTube, but for the most part, you know, the, the everyday vlogs, the reaction channels, for the most part, how you conduct yourself, unless if you're like a professional actor and, and you're clearly acting in a, in, in a movie. But for the most part, for the most part, how you conduct yourself on YouTube is a, you know, is it it is a good indication of who you are in real life. It gives the whole world, it gives everyone, the audience, the discerning of an, of the audience, some inkling about your character, your personality. And if you find it in yourself to bully constantly, bully and harass. So a YouTuber who's just, you know, doing her thing, doing her content. Um, that speaks a lot about you. It speaks a lot about you. Now, let me take off that hat and put on a different hat. Now, Foodie Beauty, friend, one thing I learned about YouTube years ago on my old channels, and I'm sure you know about this astonishingly well, is that YouTube, whatever you put on YouTube, is fair game for the entire world to dissect, 
interrogate, break into pieces, pick apart, overanalyze to death, critique, insult, praise, and make all sorts of commentary out of any and everything you put on YouTube. Now, we live in a free world. I believe in freedom of speech. I also believe in res you know, being uh, responsible with, that, with your freedom of speech. I, I, you know, I believe that uh, freedom of speech does not necessarily mean freedom from the consequences of your speech. You, you, we've, all, we've all heard that saying. I also believe in decency, con conducting yourself as a decent person, whether offline or, on, or, or online. I believe in all of those rosy things that define a civilized society. Um, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know, we still live among everyday folks, everyday folks that harbor, you know, all sorts of views value uh, uh, system, belief system, anything that ranges from misogyny to bigotry to, to, to racism, homophobia, transphobia, colorism, uh, uh, ageism, you know, uh, uh, and, uh, and, and you name it, all of that. And so, um, you know, we all know that whatever we put out on YouTube is open for fair game and unfortunately in this universe in this world in this walk walk in life that it, it, with the cards that you have that you were dealt in life my friend F F foodie beauty Chantel in this walk in life this this is what you have to deal with on YouTube for some reason it's a combination of your personality how you dispense your thoughts, past views that you've expressed, etc., etc., have all attracted a crowd of folks that have taken to, with extreme pleasure, that have taken to harassing you. Now, for me, Jasmine, uh, you know, it makes me feel bad to see all of that. You know, when you go to, uh, especially Anne Berlin, oh, goodness gracious, most of the comments are just negative. You search their names on YouTube. It is astonishing the amount of negative commentary. There are vultures, ravens, crows, circling above perpetually just waiting for the next video from from Chantel to drop for them to swoop in and pick it apart and you know uh, you know uh, bastardize uh, you know color uh, uh, add extra ingredients and you know and, and spin it all sorts of ways to spit out their own commentary it's like you know wherever she goes there are vultures and ravens just circling above. And that's the, that's the, the ugly side of YouTube. It's, now, let me also touch on this. You know, we know that on YouTube, content creators, especially in the, uh, uh, the vlog sphere, the, the, the people uh, slash blogs category, um, people are going to look for ways to make content and that's listen that comes with the territory that comes with YouTube we all know that people are you know trying to grow their channels and that's you you know there's nothing wrong with that there's absolutely nothing wrong with what people call clout chasing that just comes with the territory clout chasing on YouTube is is basically like somebody in Wall Street try to make the most profits it, it's you know it, that's just it comes with the territory on YouTube, you're going to look for ways to grow your channel. And, and, and folks have discovered that one way to grow your channel is to engage in reaction. Reaction 
translates to drama, reaction produces drama, reaction, you know, uh, 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 starts fights between content creators, and, and all of that, it sells, drama sells, it sells on, on, real, on, on reality shows like The Real Housewives of Atlanta, it sells on, you know, it, it sells all over television, and it most definitely sells as incredibly well on YouTube, where it's everyday folks, where you're not forced to sign a contract like some celebrities do on those reality shows, where you may be restrained on, on how far you could go. On YouTube, you all, you all you have is the community guidelines to hold you back, but and, and YouTube is not doing a particularly good job at it because it, listen, I mean, I know of of quite a number of channels that where where some you know incredibly despicable stuff have, have been uttered but those channels are still up and those videos are still up uh, yes and even I have, have participated in the flagging of, of, of such uh, horrific, horrific videos but they're still up so the YouTube community guidelines is not as stellar as uh, uh, you know we would like it uh, we would like to think it is so that's the only thing that you have that's holding you back um, and, and, and the, the community guidelines is not really do, doing that, you know, again, it's not doing that spectacular of a job. So people do a lot of things on YouTube to get those views and the drama does bring in the views. The reaction do bring in the views. People want to see what others have to say about Chantel and, 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 and uh, Amber, Amberlynn and people want and, 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 you know, people are hoping that the content creators uh, are being, um, uh, attacked, um, respond, and you know, and, and, and in the back and forth, you know, people find the entertainment in that. So anyway, so so Foodie Beauty, listen, I hate to see what's going on. You know, uh, you know, you've been basically just harassed for years. I hate what what's going on. You know, what you've had, what you are dealing with, what you continue to deal with. At the same time, this is the nature of the platform that we are all on. I know what can go down with YouTube. And I, me Jasmine, I willingly uh, uh, signed on to YouTube. I downloaded the app and created a profile, created a channel, knowing that it could get ugly at some point. And, um, you know, you can choose to, to stick with it. You can choose to just deal with it. And hopefully those dark forces out there that are giving you grief, hopefully they will subside. Um, so you can hope for that. Um... Or, or you can just call it a day, call it a, a chapter in life and, and, and close the channel. But whatever the case is, you know, I just feel like, you know, these folks that are giving you grief, um, they're here to stay. And it's not, so, I mean, listen, it's just, even if, I, you know, I also attribute a lot of this to how you have been moving on YouTube. Um, this is not just, you know, people looking for... It, it is a combination of people looking to make content off of your name. It, but it's also... Um, I guess you could say aided and abetted um, by the things that you have you have done on YouTube. See, like how you move on YouTube. Hold on, give me a second. I got a notification on my phone. So how you move on YouTube, um, especially uh, you know when, especially you know uh, when your channel catapults up up to up to the uh, stratosphere, especially when your channel grows up grows and. And, and, and you start getting all those numbers and those clicks and views. How you move 
or rather when you start making bad moves on YouTube um, that's like bait that's like that's like throwing a Harry that that's like throwing sardines <laughs> into a school of fish that's like that's bait for reaction channels reaction channels you know when you when when you when when you decide to to start YouTube and you want to be, be a reaction channel you don't just randomly choose uh, uh, you know just some random channel and start reacting no something has to catch your eye maybe it's it's the position that that youtuber uh, took on a particular social issue that is kind of, that is uh, uh, an opposite of, of a view of, of, of yours uh, maybe the, the way the person came at a particular community uh, 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 agitated you something has to catch your eye and Chantel I think how you have been moving on YouTube um, uh, some of the positions that the the uh, some of the haters have tried to call you out on I think that's has contributed to you know the situation you're, you're facing on YouTube you have a fleet a fleet of reaction channels firmly attached to you <laughs> and I'm not trying to make fun I'm not trying to make light of it but, but, but my reaction a second ago if it looked like I was laughing no it was not that was a reaction of complete astonishment how you know Folks could spend every waking hours, every day, circling, hovering above this one YouTuber, just waiting for the for one video to every videos to drop, so they can make reaction videos. And so, you know, YouTube, that's that's the world of YouTube. You know, you, you come on YouTube, you do your thing, you let the chips fall where they may. Sometimes you'll meet a, a, a largely uh, mellow crowd, a, a supportive crowd, a supportive audience. Sometimes you'll, you'll you know, you'll find yourself, you know, a decent support supportive supporting crowd and also a decent um, crowd of trolls or sometimes sometimes you come on YouTube and it's just you know it, it, it's nothing but grief and calamity and, and and despair and distress and agony to the point that you know you you end up quitting YouTube now let me let, let me uh, and I'm I don't know how, how long is this okay I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep this short let me say this um, let me also say this you know my advice to Chantel to Foodie, Foodie Beauty is keep doing you keep doing you YouTube is addicting yes it is oh it is very addicting keep doing you keep doing your vlogs you have a wonderful husband. Uh, keep doing your vlogs while in Kuwait, or if you, uh, whether in Kuwait or Canada, do keep keep doing your vlogs. Eventually, the reaction channels will either tire out, or YouTube's community guidelines, you know, improve to a point where. You know, you, you 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 will find it easy to put an end to all of, you know all of the bullying. Whatever the case is, continue doing you. You're doing a good job, uh, you know, with your channel. Obviously, your channel uh, uh, is is a big channel. It's not a, a huge channel uh, like others, you know, in, in the millions and hundreds of thousands and so forth. Uh, but it is a huge channel for you know for in the in the people slash blog category 
um, in the everyday vlogging uh, category. Um, it is a sizable channel. You have you do have a sizable following, and that of course you know on the back end of things, you know how that you know, what that translates to in terms of AdSense. So continue doing you ride this wave until you know it comes crashing to the shore. Uh, you know you do have supporters, and they're going to ride with you until the cartwheels fall off. Um, and um, you know just don't don't change who you are just continue doing you unfortunately in this universe in this time this day and age in this lifetime you know these are the cards that you were dealt um, and um, it looks like you're you're probably gonna oh you're always you're probably gonna have you know reaction channels just hounding you for the rest of your YouTube existence, your YouTube experience. But don't let that, do not think of, or rather never think of the reaction channels as a death nail. Just think of them as just uh, annoying cactus pricks that occasionally have to be tweezed and, and thrown out, uh, tossed away. Now let, me, and, and now let me rewind a little bit. Now, again, I believe in freedom of speech. I, I am, uh, that is a belief that I am unyielding on, that I will uh, uh, put my life on the line to defend. I believe in freedom of speech. And um, so, and, 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 you know, sometimes people will say things that I may not necessarily like, I may not necessarily agree with I may find utterly distasteful but you know unless if they cross to a certain line you know I mean it's again we live in a free society if I if me Jasmine if I decide to pull over on the side of the road at the nearest light pole and proceed to do a handstand twerk by the side of, by, by the uh, uh, by the uh, by the freeway uh, barrier. If I decide to do a handstand twerk on, on one of those walls on the side of the freeway and prop my camera and record the entire <laughs> the entire foolishness. And I put it on YouTube, I know that I'm opening up myself to all types of commentary. And I have to accept that. I have to accept whatever comes my way, good or bad. If I sit and do nothing and do an entire 20 minute recording of me doing nothing but, but looking at the camera, I'm, I know I'm also opening up myself to all types of commentary. Whatever you do on YouTube, you understand it is whatever you do, whatever you say on YouTube is fair game. Of course, there there's YouTube's community guidelines. Uh, so you know there are there there are situations where. You know, you, you, you could copyright strike somebody for using your videos if somebody is making uh, a threat, physical threats against you. The, you know what I mean. There are com community guidelines that cover certain situations. But for the most part, there's not much we could do about reaction channels. You just do, you, do your content. You let the chips fall where they may. Let the, con the, let the reaction channels get you know do their commentary i mean you could do videos you could do videos appealing to their to, to their sensibilities try to get people to back off you could do all of that but at the end of the day there's not much i mean again in this universe in this day and age in this particular walk on walk in life that that that, that you occupy you've just been dealt a fleet of uh of of haters, a fleet of reaction channels that have latched onto you like some 
what do you call those fish that latch themselves onto manta rays and, and, and sharks and turtles and those fish with like suctions on, the, on their teeth or their mouth? And you know, you just have to um, strategize, um, employ some, 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 some tactics to try and keep them at bay. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, there's not much you can do. Whatever you put on YouTube again, and it, this is worth repeating a thousand times, whatever you put on YouTube is open for critique within YouTube's guidelines. I am very, very, very aware of that. If somebody does a reaction channel to me, talking about me, my hair, my, my silly looking clip-on glasses, um, whatever, they want to talk about me, you know, anything that people want to talk about me, whatever they see on camera, I'm ready for it. Because I know that that's what comes with YouTube. Now, at the same time, let me let me mosey my way to the other side, uh, other side again. If you don't like, if you do not like Foodie Beauty, understand that you know we live in a world of we live in a world where. What you do online can be magnified. Uh, we live in a world where, you know, count, what, what, they, what do they call it? Cancel culture takes place. It happens out there. And if you're somebody that cares about your image off of YouTube, if you're somebody that, that you may occupy a public role, or you, you occupy uh, an important position in your social circle, whatever the case is. Keep in mind that if it comes out to the public that, you know, you spend every waking hour harassing this woman online, making fun of her, that's not going to look good on you. That is, if you care about your reputation. What if, and I'll give you a scenario. What if one of these days, one of Foodie Beauty's uh, hardcore supporters get tired of you harassing her? So they take to doxing you. They, get to, they take to trying to research who you are. You, the person on that reaction channel that's constantly harassing Foodie Beauty. What if... Foodie Beauty's supporter doxes you, figures out who you are, where you work, the positions you occupy in your personal, uh, in, your, in your life, your, your social circles, and then they take your videos, document your videos, and to a point where they, they feel they have a sufficient amount of it, they take your videos, and then they take to disseminating those, 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 those uh, videos to your associates, your family members, your professional uh, contacts. And next thing you know, here you are being painted, being, you know, being made to look like a persistent bully. That may, that's not going to look good on you. So, you know, the, doing reaction channels, degrading, putting down another person, that's not that you know that's not something that you know you, you you can you can easily partake in without potential consequences when i'm on youtube i you know i'm mind, i'm very mindful of of the content that i do because i know that i can, i know i care about my image i care about my image off of youtube and you know, I don't. I do not want to do content uh, that could potentially put me at a disadvantaged state. So, to the people that are constantly harassing Foodie Beauty, 
you know, you never really know what goes on, you know, with a subscriber base and off of YouTube. You know, there are subscribers, uh, you know, hardcore supporters of YouTubers who, if they get fed up, if they get tired of you harassing their favorite content creator, they will take matters into their own hands. Now, I could throw in the whole Glenda Sully situation too and, and do a commentary on that, but let me let, listen. I let me just let me wrap this up by saying this because I don't want I do not want to make this a long video, and I may come back and talk about this more. Uh, and, and if you guys want a part two video, just put it in the comment section. Um, If you do not like Foodie Beauty, if her presence on YouTube vexes your spirit, if her presence on YouTube gives you heartburn, if, if her presence on YouTube disturbs your spirit, try a different channel. Uh, you know, start a new hobby for crying out loud. We live in a big world. There's so many things you could do. On the other hand, let me also say this, Foodie Beauty and Berlin and all the other content creators that find themselves, you know, constantly being harassed and bullied and, and made mockery of. This is what comes with YouTube. This, and, 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 and you, already know this this is this is just this is what comes with with YouTube not so much with you know in, uh, Instagram and Facebook but most definitely with YouTube most definitely with YouTube this this is just this is a fact of life of YouTube and um, you know just continue doing you and hope for the best but uh, reaction channels are here to stay they are as they are uh, you know I I cannot think um, of any situation where you know where reaction channels um, go away to disappear no the reaction channels are here to stay because it's one of a number of ways to grow your page. It's one of a number of pages to grow uh, a following. And if you're somebody that's, that, you know, your goal is to make money off of YouTube, it's one way to, 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 to get to that. So Foodie Beauty, you know, and, 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 and the others, just, you know, stay strong. Stay strong, that's what I'm going to say. Stay strong. Continue doing you and uh, stay blessed. All right, everyone, that's that for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not. And I will see you in the next upload. All right, take care. Bye bye.